It's very difficult to trace these people because they move around quite a lot. They change their numbers quite often. An illegal abortion would be, for example, someone who has not undergone the prescribed training, but also you have to be designated by the Provincial Department of Health that is accredited. So you would then need to have someone from the Department of Health come to your facility and assess you on various criteria. Issues around confidentiality. If you go to a local facility and you know that the nurse there is your mom's friend or is a relative or whatever, you might not be comfortable going to that person because you fear that they might disclose your information. But also there's the reality of once you've reached your second trimester, there are fewer facilities in the country that provide second trimester services. Many women then opt to go back street. They will not provide the name of the practice, practice number, HPCSA registration number. It will say maybe they have multiple offices across the country, something like that, without being very specific. Most legitimate facilities will have a landline number and will have an address and the name of the practice. So very minimal information provided about the actual practice, although some will provide some general information about what is surgical abortion, for example, what is medical abortion but it won't say anything much about the actual practice and who is providing service. Most of them will put their practice number and also their HPCSA registration number. So those are the things that you need to look out for. 